Melissa here and welcome back to the scrappery. So today I'm making a layout and I'm using the Sizzix Bigs dies and the first one I'm cutting here is called Calipi. I'm not sure if that's how you say it but um, it's either that or Calliope. And the one that looks like a daisy is called Gerbera and um, they are by different designers for Sizzix but the two flowers work really well together so I'm just running them through my um, electronic Sizzix and I just love using this for dyes. This is what I've got here so the top one um, is the first one I mentioned and the bottom one is the Gerbera. So I um, considered using some of the papers from the kit but I didn't, this is going to sound ridiculous but I almost didn't want to waste them cutting them and I wanted to challenge myself to watercolour them as well. Um, one problem I have when I use kits is I love using pattern paper as a background and so I don't want to sacrifice pattern paper to be cut up. I know it sounds crazy but um, I'm sure you'll know what I mean when you love every single piece of paper. And so um, what I did was I made these quite bold and bright which is not the tones or I guess the tones in the kit, the tones in the kit are quite soft, but I like the way this works against the tones in the kit, if that makes sense. So I'm just showing you how I made a couple of them. Um, I made the, the top one pink. I already had pink, yellow and orange flowers that I made ahead of time. And then I decided to add purple as well because there's purple in the kit. So just using my tweezers to hold them down so I could paint them and they curl up a bit as they dry and that, that's fine by me. So here is the paper that I'm using and um, it was hard to actually sacrifice the A side of the paper. I love that stripe as well but I love the idea of having these more bold flowers on the soft um, sort of sketchy foliage and my photo is of my daughter at the Wearable Arts at school last year. They had to make um, a costume from recyclable material and so she made this beautiful dress, <clears throat> excuse me, and she made a bag to go with it as well. So um, speaking of sacrificing paper, it was really hard for me to cut into that beautiful pink one as well. But I think I've made several layouts with an ombre pink background, so I decided to um, not. And I just loved how it looked as a um, like a mat behind my photo. So as always, I've got a white border on my photo. And now I am just, um, I had a hard time with this, but wanting to place the flowers. I didn't want to go overboard and make too many flowers. I didn't want them to take away from the photo. The photo is bigger than what I normally scrap, and that's because it was um, taken by, I think one of the parents at school took all the beautiful photos and then we could buy them. And so, yeah, I was real keen to scrap this photo of Azaria. So I thought... Um, Often I'll look at a piece of paper like this and want to add some um, some watercolours or some kind of mixed media to it. Um, I know you could also colour in, you could paint some of the flowers and I thought about doing that too but in the end I just decided to go with a few drops of ink. So most of these I think are Heidi Swap colour shine. I've gone for three different shades of pink. There are two darker ones that are quite similar and a pale one called Rose and um, then I added, I think, tinsel. I didn't want a full-on black uh, splatter, but more like a pewter kind of colour. Yeah, that's what I'm adding there. So I knew my photo was on sort of centre right, so I um, didn't bother splattering in the middle. Now that cut apart must be one of the most beautiful cut aparts I've ever seen. And I looked at this for a while because it's so gorgeous, trying to make my mind up. I wanted to use that girl cut apart, but as you'll see, it doesn't make it to the layout. Just stunning. Um, yeah. So that, I think, when I place them side by side, I realised that that girl cut apart is going to take away from the, my photo. And then I saw this shine bright it all square and I thought that was perfect to describe my daughter so what they did was each child walked through like it wasn't a catwalk but they walked through the audience and stopped at certain parts so you got to see their costume so in order to make this doily work because it is too small I've just cut it through the middle and 
I'm going to place it back on either side of my photo with double sided tape and it takes me a bit to work out how I want it. I want it to be seen but I don't want it to be too full on either. It just breaks up the rectangle, um, I guess angular photo. So happy with that and um, I want to put some foam behind it just to lift it up. Yeah, and um, once again, double-sided tape is the best thing for sticking down foam. I'm using the Scotch um, Quick Dry glue at the moment, and I don't know, I know lots of people in the States love using it and are really happy with it, but whatever brand or variety of it we have here is not working that well. I find that things don't stay stuck, and that includes the foam. So when I um, turned over my photo, I found that I needed... A bit more stabilization just at the top and bottom of my photo it was bending down I didn't want that I wanted the whole photo to be lifted off the page now I also cut these leaves and it's another big sty Sizzix and it's called wild hedgerow and I just love how this turns out I think I went with the textured side of the paper and my intention here was to provide some subtle white leaves I didn't want to paint them green it would have been too much and I just like the subtle texture that they add and I will go ahead and stitch um, <clears throat> down the center of each of them. Sorry guys, I've had um, I had the flu a um, couple of weeks ago and then I was left with this like head cold, chest cold. So that's why I am, why my voice is a bit funny and why I have to keep clearing my throat. So apologies for that. So as with the splatters, I didn't need to put them under the photo. I think I had some um, kind of poking out and I didn't want to put glue down the center of them because I knew I'd be stitching so I just put a bit of glue to hold them down and then you can see where I've stitched through the middle. So placing my photo back and then trying to decide where to put these flowers and like I said this was challenging for me because I'm not used to I guess working with such a large flower and I also struggle because um, there's only one size flower that you can cut with a die, obviously, and the die doesn't have a smaller um, flower. So it's not like a silhouette or a cricket cut where you can cut it as many times into the size that you want. So that was certainly challenging. And you'll see that um, this layout was challenging in other ways too when I come to embellish. So here I'm just showing you how I put these flowers together. So you want to. Um, find the center and then have so you got four different flower parts and you want them to be uneven so that the uh, petals cover the entire circumference I hope that makes sense but you'll see what I mean and it gives um, more dimension just by bending up the edges and I love how these turned out they're really beautiful actually my um, nearly five-year-old Brielle she saw this layout and she wanted me to do some of these flowers for her as well. So that might be another plan for another project. So here, placing the flowers or the petals on for this flower. This flower was a little bit easier than the other one. And I've just used a brad, white brad from my stash. I've had these for so long, I don't even know where I got them from. Um, but they were perfect. The dye actually comes with a little circle that you could stick in the middle, but I like the... The way that the brads look and they're a lot smaller too. So just um, adhering that shine bright which I fussy cut I thought that looked a lot more fluid than the square edges and also broke up from the large photo having square edges. Now these um, stickers are translucent and absolutely beautiful and so I just added uh, the paint swatch at the bottom and that's where I realized that I haven't even stuck down my um, photo So I had to rip my doily a bit there because it had gotten stuck on the glue that I put on the shine bright But no one would ever know only you and then I went with the blue one above as well And I think that provides quite a good anchoring point for my photo So at this point I wasn't sure how I was going to adhere these but because they're so dimensional in the brad prongs are quite solid. I thought I could just adhere them with a couple of um, those are Stampin' Up dimensionals and that worked really well. So 
just sticking them down and I decided to have them kind of flow from the top right um, to the left of the photo. So just working on placement. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out in the end, but it, it definitely was a struggle to embellish, as you'll see soon. And most importantly, I think I've already said, I did not want to take away from that photo and that beautiful costume that she made. So here, um, I wasn't going to add the leaves in, but something was lacking. I did struggle because the leaves are green, and in particular, the gerbera leaves are a lot darker than the other flower but I think it turned out well and I'm happy with um, with the fact that they look more realistic as flowers I suppose. So added a couple of flare badges here I forgot that I'd added the one with the girl and then I added the other one as well but I think it's fine. I did look through the ephemera pack and thought about adding um, those beautiful flowers. They are similar to what's on the background paper but they've got some uh, watercolor effect on them but they just got lost and I decided to save them for another layout. I tried to use that little love this circle it also didn't work and then I went for these more sketchy more colored flowers but also I decided that um, less was more when it came to flowers. I added a couple of butterflies and popped up one side of oh yeah three butterflies popped up one side of each of the wings <clears throat> excuse me and my final touch was to add these enamel dots um, yeah there's a heart sticker there as well a couple of heart stickers I also added the word and a place for my date and coming up will be the final layout with the journaling added so I hope you enjoyed this and I will be back again next week thank you